Today we will start our last design challenge. There is a long history of people wanting to communicate and send data to others in different countries and continents around the earth. Over many millennia, information could really only be sent over long distances by transporting messages between locations by people on foot, like the 25 mile run completed according to legend by Feidipids <laughs> to announce the defeat of the Persians to the anxious Athenians or messages transported by carrier pigeons. You can see two ways of attaching the messages to the pigeons in this, in this uh, image. And also messages transported by people riding horses like the Pony Express here in the United States. But starting in the 1840s, the first electrical system started to be used, the telegraph system. In this case, long cables were installed between telegraph stations, usually supported by utility poles over the ground. Using Morse code, information was sent down these wires using pulses of electric current. The first successful telegraph connection between continents was installed across the Atlantic Ocean in the 1860s, using a long cable along the bottom of the ocean. Over the next several decades, more cables were installed around the world, as you can see in this map from 1901. Then with the development of fiber optic cables in the 1980s, all of a sudden huge amounts of digital data could be sent at super high speeds over very long distances. Fiber optic cables can be installed both within cities, like the Google, fi Google Fiber going into my neighborhood as I record this lecture, and also installed, installed across oceans, just like for the telegraph cables. Here is a map of all the submarine fiber optic cables that have been installed around the world, some of them following similar routes as the earlier telegraph cables. These fiber optic cables can simultaneously transport telephone, internet, and private data traffic to different continents and countries around the world. The Federated States of Micronesia, FSM for short, is an island country in Oceania. Here it is, near Papua New Guinea and Australia. FSM is comprised of 607 islands, and all of these islands are quite small. Altogether, the 607 islands have a combined land area of about 702 square kilometers. That's only about 35% the size of Salt Lake County. But although small, you can see here that the islands are quite beautiful. On the map of global submarine fiber optic cables that I showed earlier, if I zoom in on FSM, we can see a cable going from Guam to the Kwajalein Atoll, which is off the screen here. In 2010, the first fiber optic cable was connected to an island on FSM, Pon Pai Island right here. So this was connected in 2010. This gave Pon Pai, Pon Pai Island access to high-speed internet for the very first time. Then in April of 2019, a second island in the Federated States of Micronesia, this is Wino, or Wino Island over here, it's in the Chuk state of FSM, was connected to high speed internet when a submarine fiber optic cable was installed from Pon Pai to Chuk. Getting a fiber optic cable to an island is a big deal and very expensive. But even after this is accomplished, there is still the big job of connecting all the inhabitants on the island to that internet. In this case of FSM, there are about 110,000 people living on 65 inhabited, quite small islands. For example, at this K-8 through school on Sis Island, there are about 87 kids, 5 teachers, and no computers or internet access. On top of that, most of these 87 students have never seen or touched a computer before, and only about 1% have ever used a computer. So this brings me to our last design challenge in this course. Our challenge is to design a telecommunications system that will bring internet access to remote schools in the Federated States of Micronesia for the first time. We're going to focus on connecting two specific elementary schools to the internet. The first school is on the island of UDOT. It's UDOT school on UDOT Island. To give you an idea of the size of this island, you can actually see 
the two main buildings of the school right here, these, these two right there and there. The other school we want to connect to the internet is Awak School Elementary, and that's right here with the yellow star. It's on Pompeii Island. The main requirements for these internet connections are that they need to be affordable, reliable, repeatable, meaning we can set up many connections using the same methodology in many places throughout FSM. And we also want the internet connections to be sustainable. Take out your in-class project notebooks and spend a few minutes writing out what the problem is and how you would solve it knowing what you know today.